Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to do something a little bit different than what I planned. And I'll just explain, it's the same reason you didn't have a video last week. Unfortunately, the other week I had an accident and to sum it up quickly, I required stitches in my hand which means I've not been able to do much this past week. However, I do want to get a video out. The hand is feeling a lot better, so I think we should be good to go. I want to try and get a video done for you. So we'll do a video that I already had planned and ready. I was going to do this later, but we'll do it now. It needs to be done, so... It doesn't really matter, but with that said, let's just get into it. So, I've come to the fight intro script. And if you can remember, we created a public static ball for when the fight intro is finished. And let's just check. We set it to false on startup. And yes, I'm, I'm aware I need to go through and tidy up these comments, but um, for now, let's come down to the functions. Now, the fight intro initialize, that's all correct. We don't need any updates to changes there. Fight intro fading round, so... This is correct, we do need to fade in. So, let's have a look. And we do need to make sure that we're not going above one. So, that's correct. If intro value is equal to 1, display fight does need to be set to be true. So I'm just tidying up these as we go. Fight intro, play one shot fight announcement. And let's have a look. So we switch to fight intro announcement. So that's all correct. So let's have a look at this function and we definitely need some more code. So let's come into this function. We're going to say if open brackets and close again inside the brackets underscore fight. And fight intro fade value I called it didn't I yes. Is less than zero. Let's get that into the comments. If fight intro is less than zero, let's come to the line below. Fight intro, fade value, close that line off. And let's have a look, we'll say, sorry, that should be equal to zero. We'll say then make fade value equal to zero. We'll come below there, we'll create another if statement, open and close brackets again, inside those brackets we're going to say fight intro fade value, double equals zero. We'll come to the end of the line, we'll open and close brackets again. Let's come back to this first line, if fight intro fade value equals zero. We'll come inside this second set of brackets now. We're going to say display ink round. 
We'll make that equal to false. Close that line off. Let's get this into the comments. We'll say set displaying ground to false. <laughs> Let's just copy and paste that in below. We're going to say displaying fight. And we'll just change it in the comments. And we can come below here. So now we want the fight intro finished. We want to make that equal to true. Close that line off. So we'll say set fight intro finished to true. So this is an important line because this is what the other scripts are going to pick up on. Obviously we don't want the player or the opponent to be able to move before the fight announcement has finished. And then once we've done all that, we can actually stop this core routine. So stop core routine, open and close brackets, close the line off inside the brackets, little speech marks, inside fight intro manager. I'll just check my naming convention. Yeah, that's correct. Let's get this into the comments. Stop. Let's just paste that naming convention in. Function. So we'll just save that off there. So we're not do doing anything actual um, too complex here. We're just making sure the fade value cannot go below zero. If it does equal to zero, we do not need to display the round or the fight. The fight intro is finished, therefore we'll set it to true, and then we'll stop the core routine itself. So with that, let's come to the scripts player one movement so let's open this up and we need to create a new variable I'll just put it here you can put it anywhere you like in fact this can be of type private bool underscore return fight intro finished Close that line off into the bracket, into the comment, sorry. Creates bool for if the fight intro has finished or not. Uh, let's have a look now. We'll come to the void update. And it needs to go here. So it needs to come before the if player is grounded if block here. So we're going to say underscore return fight intro finished is going to be equal to our fight intro script dot and then the variable that public static variable underscore fight intro finished let's get this into the comments return fight intro finished equals we'll say bool from fight intro script uh, you can word it any way you like but I think that will be sufficient 
Again, I'll go through and tidy these up properly off camera, but I'm just going to do a quick tidy up where we actually type in. So, we can now come below that line. We're going to say if, open and close brackets again, inside those brackets, underscore, return. And we want the fight intro finished. Exclamation mark equals true. So the exclamation mark means does not. So in this case, that means does not equal true. Let's get that into the comments. If return fight intro finished does not equal true. We'll just come to the next line. We'll say return, close the line off. And we're going to say then do nothing and return. Let's just save that off. And then we'll come to the opponent AI script. So let's just open that up. And luckily we can actually just copy and paste this from the player one movement. Although the code does go in a slightly different place. Sorry, there's the opponent AI script. Obviously the variable doesn't, that can just go at the top. And let's come down. Actually, it's sorry, wrong script. So we need to come down here, the opponent idle. And we'll just copy this line and the if block from the void update. Only this time, we're going to put it in the opponent idle function. And it can just go at the very bottom here. And we'll save that off. So, I think we'll leave it here for this video. I don't think I can type anymore, to be quite honest. So, as I said, we'll finish up now. As always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.